going on guys and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to get easy ROI clients. Why? Because in my free Facebook community, it's called the Lifestyle Design Community. If you're not part of it, the link's in the description box down below. It's actually quite a, a very good and active community. There's also like a free mini course uh, for everyone who, um, you know, and attends the community or uh, requests access to the community about how to you know start your own social media marketing agency but enough about that um i get a lot of questions or people still commenting that they are struggling to get their first client and the reason why i think they are struggling is because you know they are reaching out to businesses that don't necessarily need facebook ads or don't see the value of it just yet so i thought i'd quickly record the video uh, for you guys to show you how you can get easy ROI clients and get these clients you know, very, very um, easily rather than spending hours and hours reaching out to the wrong people. Now first, what is an easy ROI client? For me, that isn't a client that you can easily get, like you know, attain, get the client um, as a client for your business and also get them an easy return on investment. So, you know, basically this client stays with you for a longer period of time and you don't have to find another client in a month's time because this client has left, okay? How do you get the clients to stay? Get them a return on investment. How do you get them a return on investment? You get the client results that uh, basically make them more money then they invest into you, okay? And then obviously, you know, get clients that are easy to work with and that aren't, you know, an absolute ball ache to you know maintain so clients that understand that it takes time understand that you need to invest into marketing etc and you know, that don't actually um spend all day just asking you questions and mocking everything you do okay so obviously a uh, easy example of this is uh, gyms bars restaurants chiropractors dentists uh, plastic surgeons etc these are very very easy clients to get because more often than not these people can get a return on investment if you start running Facebook ads for them for example with a dentist um, you know if you start running ads for the dentist and you are charging them a thousand a month you're putting an additional thousand into Facebook ads or they are so their investment is two thousand a month and you get them one um, what are they called the braces like the Invisalign braces like these braces start at like 5,000 or something like that for one brace. So if you get them one of those clients that needs one of those braces, you know, you've already got them uh, double their money um, that they've invested into you. So they've invested 2,000 to get 5,000 back. That is a 3,000 uh, profit for that month. And if you can consistently do that, you know, there's no reason why they would not spend um, you know, up to 4,000 a month into you and Facebook ads, knowing that they're going to get 5,000 back, and that's the way you need to look at it. So, like I said, easy ROI clients are people that, or clients and businesses that you can get leads for, okay? So, a lot of people they say, I want to do e commerce because I see Josh doing e commerce and he's making you know, um, a lot of money with it. E commerce, when starting out, is relatively difficult because there's a lot of moving parts. You know, a lot of custom audiences that you need to create and um, like tactics and strategies that you need to implement to get the results that you want for the web shop. Whereas with lead generation type businesses and clients, all you need to do is literally get them leads. Okay, so you don't need to focus on getting them sales. You just need to get them more leads for their business. And I'll just quickly show you how to do that in the mind map here. So as you can see, uh, this is just a free mind map. Uh, program that I use for Google Drive. So let's say, um, what shall we? Let's say we do dentists. Okay. So this is a dentist uh, funnel. What we need to do is we are going to set up Facebook ads for them. Let me just quickly change the color of the text so it's a bit more clear. Okay. So Facebook ads. What are we going to do for the Facebook ads? We are going to um, set up um, free teeth whitening Facebook ads. Okay, so we need to get people from uh, Facebook, so a broader audience, you know, the, the broad end of the funnel. We need to get them to um, opt in for a free teeth whitening session. Okay, and then from there, the dentist can upsell them on various other products that he has got. Um, in the Netherlands, for example, you've got like the checkup, um, you've got what's it called, like the, um, where they scrape 
like all the like calcium from your, your teeth, etc. Like there's loads of different little services that um, you know you can do as a dentist, or you can get your dentist to do for you. Uh, that just costs like small uh, monthly or yearly fees. So what we need to do is get people in the door, get their details, and then the dentist, it's his job to actually upsell them on any other paid services that he has got. So for example, um, like I said, I don't actually know how you spell Invisalign, how do you? Is it Invisalign? That's it, Invisalign. So upsell them on Invisalign races. Okay, so we go from free teeth mining to an upsell to Invisalign braces. Um, another thing you can do as well, while you've got them, uh, so basically what they do for the free, um, let me just click on this one, and there we go. Okay, so free teeth whitening, what they need to do to actually get the free teeth whitening session, they need to fill out the details, okay, and then from there, what the, the client can also do is, um, automatically enroll them or you know get them to uh, an email list an email blast so if they fill out their details for the free teeth whitening they automatically get enrolled into an email sequence so you can also have an email sequence attached to this about um you know all the other upsells and all the other services that the teeth uh, or the dentist actually provides okay so while they are filling out their details you can also have um, it's basically a one-time upsell, so um, upsell, let's just do this, uh, we'll do this green, white text, okay, one-time upsell, we'll add this here, so email sequence, we'll just do this in orange, very serious about me colour guys, there we go, about the colours, um, so, so while they are filling out their details for the teeth the free teeth whitening they can also do a one-time upsell um for for example 20 percent off their next teeth whitening session you know and then off the back of also getting their details and uh, being able to upsell them and also having them on the email sequence you can also have a one-time upsell or a quick upsell or whatever you want to call it while they're filling out their details they'll basically get a pop-up saying uh, you know congratulations you know um we are in the process of um booking your or completing the, the registration um one time offer um for the next 100 people in the next 24 hours whatever we are offering 20 percent off the next teeth whitening session and then basically off the back end of the advertisement you know you are um still in you're in a more money um off that free teeth whitening ad and then as soon as you you know you get them to, to spend money off the net on the next like teeth whitening session you can then again upsell them on other services that you've got so i understand that this is a bit messy but this is basically a very brief overview of how you can actually get results for um, a dentist in this case and how you actually start the um, the funnel or how you can actually start getting people in the front end so the Facebook ads which I'll quickly show you now um, I'll probably skip the part where you can see like the inside of my business manager and go straight to the ads okay guys so this is the business manager and depending on how you actually set up this advertisement you can do two things you can run traffic to the advertisement if you just want a lot of people onto the website if you've got the landing page on the website um, you can do lead generation if you've got the the, the form so with what they fill out um, to give their details for the free teeth whitening, you can do lead generation, or what I've been doing a lot lately is conversions and then adding a complete registration custom event on the thank you page and then running conversions to that. Why? Because then Facebook uh, basically finds people that are most likely to convert for that complete registration with obviously the, the custom targeting that we'll be doing in a minute, and then uh, that way you basically get leads for this business. Um, so, what I'll just quickly do is I'll, I'll click on um, traffic because obviously i haven't got that custom event set up uh, because i haven't got a dentist client um looking back i probably should have chosen uh, an example that i have actually got uh, but this is just quickly to show you guys you know what is possible and how easy it can be you know a lot of people do um spend too much time on this and you know they're constantly complaining when in high, you know when you look at the big picture it's not actually that difficult okay so in terms of the audience um let me just quickly why do facebook change like the business manager once i'm finally used to 
uh, you know what it looks like they, they change everything around um, let me just quickly see so this is audience um, create a new audience now I just want a normal okay so I think this is create new audience how do you change or find um, the different types of traffic Ah, there we go. Okay, so Facebook has changed this. So create new audience if you haven't got a saved audience yet, which you probably haven't. And then you click on detailed target, and then from here you can add stuff, um, you know, or add interests that the people that we want to target actually have. Okay, so if you're doing this for a local dentist, let's say we're doing this for a local dentist in London, then obviously um, you know they need to be in the London area. So we do. Um, let me see locations. Where is oh there we go locations change that and then what I like to do let's say um, we've got the address of the client and I'll fill in the address and I'll have like a radius around it of let's say you know five to ten miles um, and then in the detail target and basically what we do is we just add things that um, people that uh, want the teeth whitening you know actually search for or that they are interested in so for example the most logical teeth whitening why won't it let me click on it? Okay, teeth clean. Surely there's a teeth whitening. Okay, maybe that's um, banned or, you know, maybe Facebook has done something about that, but white teeth. Um, dental dental hygienist uh, what else could we do maybe something like dental care there we go dental care okay that's a very small audience but might as well just do it and then maybe something like um, cosmetic um, not not the job title but a cosmetic industry or something like that no, okay. So we just leave it like at this for now. So dental care, dental hygienist, teeth cleaner, and white the teeth. Expand the audience, and then from here, basically, we have now uh, you know we're going to target people um, that are in the area of the dentist with these interests, and then we run the advertisements like I said um, you know, previously, and then from there we basically get them through the funnel. This so Facebook ads, free teeth whitening, and then we can upsell them. We can you know add them to the email sequence. We can add the one-time upsell, etc., etc. And this is how you get leads for dentists. And you know uh, back to what this video is about. You know how to actually get easy clients, easy ROI clients. You need to find people that are already running advertisements or already spend the money on marketing okay this does not have to be facebook ads you know if they are spending for example money on billboards to spend the money on um, magazines etc all you need to do is provide value to them and then you know suggest that they move a part of their budget to facebook to try this out and if they like it if they're getting a bigger return on investment with facebook ads which they probably will uh, then the, the billboards etc then you know move their entire budget and hire you as their Facebook ads uh, consultant or expert. Okay, so they need to be already running ads. The business needs to be doing well. Okay, don't try and uh, be the lifesaver or the person that saved this business from its downfall. If the business isn't doing well, just don't go for it, okay? We need businesses that are doing well that with your help can do even better, okay? So running ads, they're doing well. And then lastly, um, basically, we need you need to know beforehand that you can get this client's return on investment. Okay, so if it's a hairdresser that is charging $20 or euros or pounds for a haircut, it's going to be difficult to get this client to return on investment. Okay, don't just take the money for the sake of it. Uh, make sure that it's easy to get this client to return on investment. If they are charging, let's say it's a big high end, um, you know, like salon for, um, I, I have no idea, I'm really bad with stuff like this. But, uh, you know, if these people are uh, very high end and, you know, they are charging, upwards of 200 300 400 uh, for a haircut uh, then it's very very easy to get them a return on investment if you are charging a thousand because all you need to do is get them two free customers and they've basically earned the money back including the ad spend maybe let's say five six customers a month they will get a, be getting a return on investment uh, with the facebook ads 
I'm with you as well. Okay, guys, so that is all I've got for today. If you'd like to know more about social media marketing, then make sure you click on that subscribe button. I upload a video at least two, three times a week. Also, for those that are really interested, I also have a free training on how to start your own social media marketing agency. The link will be in the description box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.